What is the effect of a catalyst on the rate of a reaction? Well, the effect is that when you add a catalyst, you are increasing the rate of reaction. You are speeding up the reaction and getting to the same products faster. The way that that's happening is that you are decreasing the activation energy required and you're doing that by providing a new pathway entirely. What your teacher may want you to show to demonstrate your understanding here is one of those curves that shows reactants and then there's a hump of energy you have to get over in order to make those reactants turn into the products. The effect of a catalyst, or rather, the rate of the reaction is generally based off of how high this hump is. The higher the hump, the less chance you have that the reactants are going to collide with enough energy to get over the hump. A catalyst provides a new pathway. What I mean is that the reactant isn't just you know, doing whatever it usually does to create the product, there's a couple of extra steps that are being added. You'll start with the same reactants, but maybe they'll react with the catalyst, and that'll be a separate reaction, and that gives you some new, new chemical that wasn't present before. And then that new chemical does something else, and at the end of the whole thing, you end up in the same place with the same products. Now, I've been careful to draw this as two humps, but the point is that overall, the humps are smaller than the original one. And I'm not talking about adding these together. I just mean the threshold. So, the amount of energy required to make reactants turn to products with the uncatalyzed reaction. The reactants started here, and you had to get up to here the activation energy of the uncatalyzed reaction was this much. I don't know what that is. It's 70 kilojoules per mole or something. Then for the catalyzed reaction, you started in the same place, but you only had to get up here. Clearly, that is a smaller amount. And so the activation energy for the catalyzed reaction is less than the activation energy for the uncatalyzed one. What that means is that the initial uh, collisions that are happening to get the ball rolling to turn the reactants into the products is just easier to take this path. That means you can make the products faster and that's the effect of the catalyst. That's the whole thing. Lastly, I'm gonna label my axes because your teacher probably wants that too. Some teachers will show this as potential energy, PE, on the y-axis and then uh, this is generally like the reaction coordinate, where you're starting with the reaction hasn't started here, and then this is where you finish. You can also label it reaction progress as well. Anyways, the point is, when you add a catalyst, you decrease the activation energy of the overall reaction, and therefore, the reaction goes faster. You've increased the rate. Great job. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.